that. I don't think anybody's here for it. Here, come. Here, all right. All right. So anyway, that's it. So you can motion to adjourn. We'll make that motion. And then you can just your adjourn. Just, we don't, you don't have to have, have a second. second it. It. I'll, I can second it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll adjourn. All right. Adjourn. Meeting adjourned. All right. Thank you. Now we can You're go ahead. Open. Thank you, Deborah. You're fine. All right. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Wilton Community School District Board Meeting Wednesday, November 8th. Mission Wilton Community School District is providing education and encourages continual progress through the improvement of one's abilities expansion of one's interest and knowledge and the growth of one's character. Call to order, please roll call Joy. Jim Barrett. Here. Linda Duncan. Here. Tom Fitzer. Rob Metzger. Tara Wine. Here. All right. Agenda approval. Are there any additions, corrections? None. Uh, Mrs. O'Donnell is done with the NHS ceremony. She's going to pop in, but just that boy, that's where she's at. All right. Motion to approve the agenda. Second. Those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. aye. Opposed, motion carries. All right, agenda. Oh no, how we didn't have minutes. We'll look at the October 11th regular meeting and the October 25th work session. Second. Those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carries. All right, public forum. Um, we'll go ahead and do how it's listed. We'll do the junior senior vocal teacher. Yeah, Mrs. Norman's here, and uh, she brought some kids and Yay. the Dorian Festival participants. So thanks for coming tonight. Nice. We yeah. like that. And we have some all state Audition vocal yeah. participants too. And a, and a band. And a, okay, so I just say first of all, we have <laughs> Opus on a choir, which is through eighth grade, and I just want to tell you who they are. Um, one is Anne Evans, and that's one of Stevie's students. She's a sixth grader. And then Stevie has to go the day before because she's on the committee for Opus, so she's going to ride with me. So she's going to come with me and Clarissa and Aiden Dillon. And Clarissa's in seventh grade, and Aiden is, is in eighth grade. And then Josh Hernandez, who's also a Hernandez, right? And he's also a seventh grader. Um, I think Clarissa has been in Opus a couple times now, but it's a first for Aiden and. Um, Josh, so that'd be fun, and Aniston as well. So those kids are going next Thursday to Ames for the Opus Festival, and they'll spend the day there. The Opus is just a single day event where we go and they rehearse and they have a, a performance at like four o'clock in the afternoon. And you just, if you ever had a chance to go to the Opus concert, <coughs> you would never believe fifth graders and sixth graders and eighth grade boys and whatever could sing like that. It's just amazing how good they really are. So they'll, they'll get so much out of that. They're such good kids. Um, but I'm gonna save my, my all students for last. I just wanna introduce, I have boys introduce themselves. I have four of our Dorian Honor Choir students here and they're all five, four, four. Tyler can't go yet, he's a sophomore. So to the Dorian, uh, that's at Luther College. It's been going, I think for 74 years. And um, the Dorian Festival takes place at the beginning of January, like 8th and 7th and 8th. Um, so they go on a Sunday, they stay overnight. And, and then on Monday, they have a concert. But there's so many students that they actually do like a drawing for parents that can go. Because there's only about 200 seats for parents to sit in. Because um, they feel like the experience is just that experience of people who love to sing, getting the chance to sing together. It's always just a real blessing. I don't know if you've ever been around Luther's music program, but it's just a gift to your heart to go there. So they all get a lot out of it. I'll let those guys introduce themselves. But let me tell you, the girls that are going to be there um, are juniors Bella Fulton, Leela Glover, Amber Oyn, and Ashley Swift. And then I'll let these guys introduce themselves. And can you tell them what grade you're in? Hi, my name's Clifton Brown, and I'm a senior. Tyler's not going to Dorian. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Dotson, I'm also a senior. Juan Marquez, I'm also a senior. Gabriel Bree, uh, junior. And all five of these guys also went to the Ruder Singh Festival, which is a tenor bass festival at Warburg College. So they've been doing a lot of really great extra singing stuff. And I think most of you did RBC as well. Right? Raise your hand if you went to RBC. Just all of them. Like Tyler and Gabe. Okay. So we just been keeping busy. And you know, we hosted RBC in October. So that was a wonderful experience as well. I put about eight and a half miles of steps on my legs. <laughs> <laughs> so um, then uh, I'm going to let our all state guys speak for themselves tonight. 
we had three students that auditioned for Allstate, two for the vocal, and one for the band. Oh, before that, uh, Dorian is almost a thousand students this year. And I have brought kids to Dorian where there's 1,450 students. So that's why there's so little seating for an audience. It's a great experience. But for the Allstate choir, they have only accept 600 students. And I think they have roughly like 3,000 who audition. Um, and for the band, I think it's about 100 and but maybe 250 at the most for the band. And then they have an orchestra too. That's about a 200 piece orchestra. So it's very competitive, highly competitive, and they expect excellence out of all the students. And by golly, the kids live up to it. So the guys gave everything they had this year to get in. Uh, and we haven't done it for quite a few years for the vocal. I think it's been more than 10 years for the vocal side, probably since Pete was here for the band. Uh, I know Jackson didn't do it, especially with the COVID thing and after that. And I know John hasn't done it last year, but now this year we're, we fired it up again. And so I'm going to let these guys tell you their, about their experience with Allstate. As I said, my name is Clifton Brown, and I auditioned for Allstate on the baritone saxophone. If you don't know the statistics, six people make it in every year for the baritone saxophone, one for each tryout location. I spent roughly five hours every single day from January, not January, July, sorry, July 20th when they released the music around July 20th to October, five hours every single day practicing saxophone, practicing after work, practicing. It's a lot. Um, the experience of the Allstate was like trial by fire almost. It was completely exhausting and one of the hardest things I've ever done in my entire life. But it was very rewarding. If I didn't do Allstate, I would not have started taking saxophone lessons. I would not have gotten as good as I am right now. And I definitely would not be as confident as I am in myself and my playing abilities. The Big thing about Allstate that I think is really cool is I met so many different people and I made so many different connections that now I feel like I'm more set up to keep going and keep playing music for the rest of my life. Awesome. Okay. Where are you planning on going to college, by the way? This, this, is, a, this is really important, I think. He's planning on. I'm thinking about going to college at UNI studying jazz. <laughs> okay. Good. Good job. Thanks, uh, my name is Tyler. I'm a sophomore and I auditioned for the vocal bit of Allstate. And as a bass, I had to audition by myself because Bane is also a bass and no from nobody from the two sections could audition together. So I had to go in by myself. It was a very, <laughs> yeah, nerve wracking <laughs> almost experience. But I think that, I think there's still plenty of room for me, like me to improve in the next few years that I have to audition. And I think that I've improved just in the four, last four months that I've been practicing as a whole. And think, I think that it was just a really good experience for me. Thanks, Tyler. Yes. <laughs> so if you didn't know, Tyler, Clifton and I had all gone to what was that, Luther? Wartburg. 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 We went to Wartburg for an all-state camp where we practiced about 12 hours in a day. Mm -hmm. and two and a half days. For two and a half days. And it was very killer on our vocal cords. We learned <laughs> a lot. And after we did that, we practiced until auditions. That was three days a week, about two hours each day. It was a gruesome process. And there was practice at home. And we, we learned a lot. Tyler has improved in an exceedingly large amount since we first started this. And I'm 
proud of him, very much so. I've grown a lot too. I, not as much as Tyler has though. He's doing really good. I believe within the next year or so, Tyler will make it into Hall State. And he's gonna try his best. All State auditions themselves, that was a process in itself. Well, we got there at nine-ish. We didn't leave until about 5.30, So, and most of that time was spent waiting. So the waiting in itself was pretty nerve wracking too. <laughs> to get to your audition, once it was done and over with, that was the easy part. Then you had to wait and wait. This is what Tyler, you had yours at 10, I had mine at 12 something, and then we didn't get the results until 6.30. So that was so they come up with six first. and a half hours worth of waiting. Yeah, they come up with a round of recalls first. And so then it takes another hour and a half or so to run through all the recall auditions. Then they just stand in line and wait their turn to go in. So if they would have been recalled, they would have gone in in front of four judges and sang by themselves. So it's it's a brutal experience. But I have to tell you, one of the experiences that happened there is they're waiting for the recall. Remember this, right? When the recall yes. is for going up. They're all standing there. It's hot. They all smell by that time. <laughs> they're all extremely bored. They're extremely bored, very tired. Very, they've been stressed out all day long waiting for the results. But they're standing there looking at the window on the office, waiting for those recall lists to come up. And a couple guys start singing one of the songs that oh, they Oh, actually, no. This guy, he gets up. He's a little taller, but it's just good luck oh, yeah. Yeah. And we start singing some of our pieces from our auditions. And so he gets, cup. I don't know, about 200 people in the same hallway to just start singing oh, cool. the same music. And it was, it was a beautiful experience. He would have had to have been there, but... And then the Lord came down. I feel like it was <laughs> almost as good as, it, as a replacement of just not getting in in itself. Yeah. Just to sit there and sing with a bunch of people you'd never met before. Just the singing for the joy of it. It was great to hear and see. Just Especially after I had practiced it for like four months. Because... <laughs> <laughs> cool. uh, Great, it was a great experience. And we met so many people. I mean, just through camp and through the auditions, it was to connect with so many people just in a couple of days. It was great. And Tyler will meet a bunch more of them. Oh, some again, all again next year. And he's dragging some friends with him this time. <laughs> yeah, right? AJ, yeah. yeah. We're bringing some kids with us again next year because these guys are leaving us. Sadly, they're all seniors. So <laughs> we might talk to Gabe. Okay. <laughs> so, so there's our there's the gist of our all state. Any questions, you guys? Or the Dorian, um, you said. How do I say this? You had to audition. Do you send in a, a video of yourself? No, the Dorian is not an audition. Dorian is a nomination from me. Oh, so okay. the directors nominate their top juniors and seniors for the Dorian Honor Choir. Okay. And Luther has a some kind of criteria of magic matrix that they use for picking our students for going. This is the first year I've had eight students selected. I think the most I've had selected before is five. Um, we, and, have last year. we have five, yeah. yeah. And we'll, some of the things that get them in are things like doing the Hall State auditions, doing solos at contests, which these two guys both did solos at contests last year and got ones their first year out. You know, Tyler's going to do one this year. Gabe's going to do one. <laughs> Hello. And, and things like that, you know, uh, being leaders in our group. And we, I also, when I nominate them, I include things that they're doing in their communities as well, or things that they do in the school community that are leadership type or um, community service type, silver cord type things, because I feel like that really helps them be accepted into the group too. So I think it's wonderful they got eight of us in there. They're going to have a great time. They're going to freeze on the floor, sleeping overnight on campus. But they can't come stay in the hotel room. You've got to stay there on the floor. <laughs> you know, it's not, it happens when the college kids are out for their Christmas break. So I think the, they just go all over campus. They just turn all the heat down to the, you know, as far as they can. And, you know, decora. <laughs> 
I tell the kids all the time, my feet have never been as cold ever anywhere as they have been when I've gone to the Dorian Festival at the because it's cold. It's like Alaska out there. <laughs> 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 it's a great experience. It's yeah. well worth the cold toast. So. Yeah. Well, good luck. Yes. Thank you. That's cool. Thanks. I don't really have a question, but I do. I just want to let you know that after your last concert, I had a member of the community come up and say how amazed they were on how great the kids and the concert that you put on. They were just, they said it was great. So I just wanted to let you know that. Thank you. Your hard work and your hard work are being noticed. Thank so, you. So, you know, we really appreciate that. Good, because they, they commit and they have sacrificed a lot of their personal time to get better. Just mm -hmm. things that they're learning don't just happen in that choir room for an hour and a half every day. They are working outside of the classroom and they, they're a good team together. So it's good to hear that they're they're making a difference and they're making an impression. I like that. So, and then several of them are jazz choir students too, by the way. And this is our second year of working at jazz choir students. And that's an audition selection thing that we do at the beginning of the year. So just kind of wave at them if you're also in jazz choir. All right. I'm going to work on Gabe for next year. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Gabe. You can just <laughs> so we waiting to hear some good stuff out of the jazz choir too. So you get to hear from FFA kids now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. their little blue jackets to talk. Oh, we got a whole crew here today. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so Caitlin's going to pass out kind of a little pamphlet that we put together um, just in case we miss something or something around those lines. So we're going to talk give some updates on uh, County Fair State Fair, how fall harvest went, uh, national convention, and then uh, so Mr. Dave's going to give a greenhouse update. So um, we're going to go and let them do a lot of the. Okay, um, at the Ag Farm this year, we hosted um, seven kids animals. We have a wide variety of animals. Um, a big award we received at the State Fair was Supreme Breeding Guild. Emma Hartman received that. So that was pretty big for our FFA chapter. That's something that that student has been trying to achieve, that family has been trying to achieve for at least 10, 15 years. So it's a huge uh, family achievement on that one. Yeah, and we're um, hoping numbers increase in next year, and then we're going to add some workshops to help improve like first year members so they can learn more and get more experience in the project. And we do actually have two co-op members here today. We're going to let them talk a little bit about their experience. Uh, we'll we'll go Hadley first because I think that'll be helpful. But okay, I'm Hadley Ray. I'm a sophomore. I've been a part of the co-op project for two years. And I've showed goats both years. This year I showed three goats. And I think the best part about it is really getting to learn a lot about the animal and things that it takes to take care of them. And I'm proud of how far I've came from last year. I'm Daryl. I this is my first year showing pigs. And I really like the facility. It was really nice. And I just said it's great. Are both of you going to raise animals next year? Yeah. That's what yeah. you want, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. These awesome. two are good people to ask questions. If you have some questions for them, you can shoot them off. All right. And then we can do. Yeah. Yeah. You want to go first, don't you? All right. So this fall, we harvested the ag farm. It was beans this year. Last year was corn. Uh, the equipment we used, we use. Rocco's combine to harvest it. We used Didi's auger and tractor to run beans up into the bin. We used Mauer's gravity wagon to haul the beans from the field. And we used Maxwell's loader tractor to haul the gravity wagon. Uh, yeah, the combine was last minute. Like the day before, the other combine that we're going to use broke down. So early that morning, got it ready. Uh, Went around the outside once just to give us room to turn around. Then we started with the plot. Uh, it was Fargo on one side and then Nutrient on the other. Yep. And then it was Fargo had his uh, way truck and then uh, Nutrient had their way truck. 
And we would do eight rows at a time, dump onto one cart, and then to another eight rows, dump onto the other cart. Yeah, long. Just went back and forth until tedious we Tedious process. Ahead. Took a little while. And then we had a population test. And those uh, were 32 rows? 32 rows of those. So uh, in the combine, there's a computer. And so once we were done with one test, it showed us how much total weight we had. So we wrote that number down just to get more statistics on what's the better population for all that. And then the rest of it was just normal going back and forth throughout the whole field. Yep. We got done at 8, eight o'clock, 7.30, yeah, 8 o'clock. 7.30, I think. So full day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was 100% student done. So uh, spring planting was in conjunction with Mr. Fitzer. He had the, the uh, equipment and he let kids kind of do the planting process with him. Uh, but the harvest was 100% student. Uh, there were the only adults that were there were me and Mr. Day and uh, Fargo, and we were on the ground. We were not in any tractors or running any equipment. It was 100% student. Great. That was very cool. Yes. So we just got back from national convention last week. We had 10 students who attended. Uh, It was the first time for a couple of us. It was my second year going. We got to go on a few tours on the way down there. And while we were there, we had went to Precision Ag and they kind of just showed us about their facility and what they're doing there. And then we went to the Hummels Farm and they just kind of had like a bit of everything. It was like a zoo. They had uh, cats, a kangaroo, goats, and dogs. <laughs> and cattle. And then we had went to the Ozark Fishery and they kind of just showed us their process of how they get, how they do their hatchery and stuff and showed us around and everything. And then we went to the Beasley Orchard and we had, there was a lot to do there. There was a corn maze, a payback ride, and then a like apple launcher thing, which was pretty cool. And then at national convention, we attended general, general opening session and we got to do a few student workshops and stuff and a lot of other cool things. We even uh, did a little chapter chapter bonding activity with a haunted house. Um, <laughs> students were the only ones that went in. I, <laughs> I, don't, I, I absolutely refused to go in there. So, <laughs> but they, they seemed like they had a lot of fun. Originally, they were a little nervous about it because they're like, you know, haunted houses. We we been to one, you've been to all of them, right? And they waited. But it took 45 long. minutes to go through it, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. They wanted to go right back in. I was like, ah. So that's a good advisor. Yeah. 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 I like the karaoke. Yes. Oh, we did have a, a karaoke. Yes. So the kids got um, rights to the radio, which they did a pretty good job on. But they were doing some good '90s throwbacks for music, and they just on their own were just. Karaoke. Would not recommend Mr. Day for karaoke. He doesn't like. It. <laughs> <laughs> He's slacking in that department. Oh yes. Your department this today? Yeah. <laughs> we had a we had a really good time um, and positive reviews all the way around. So it's always easier the second year, first year you don't know the kids, um, you don't know the process. But this year was a lot of fun for all of us. So good. Uh, just uh, I'll just take a second here, just on the back side there. So since I don't know if we were here in January, and then I think we were here a couple times, uh, but. Uh, since we met, uh, the update, uh, we've, we've had plant sale. We have poinsettias in there now for our uh, fruit sales. You can see there are the classes that we're, we're in there for. There's also a list of donations. One, is, we just got an email today, actually, so um, from Bayer. So that's a, a pretty good one there. We're going to add some growth towers as planned. And then list of repair items or updates. And then some, a couple of things we're still working on. But... Um, good community support, good uh, support from businesses and industry around the community. Um, and uh, it's kind of an extension of our classroom. Well, it is an extension of our classroom for lab, lab space. And so we want to thank you for your support and then we'll make sure we get some use out of it. Great. Okay. And I just want to touch briefly on um, the co op because we are still trying to improve that in any way that we can. Um, so we know that our numbers were a little bit down just given how we changed the structure on certain things, but we do have a lot of interest in it at, in our classrooms. We have kids that are asking about us about that process. We have parents that have talked to us at conferences about how that works. What does that look like? 
Um, so we are hopeful for this next year that, you know, if the barn is not full, it is improving. Um, but one of the main things that Savannah touched on is we would like to add a workshop element to it because the kids have a good time raising the animal. It's a good service project. It's a good learning opportunity and socialization, but they're missing that piece of, well, why do I feed this a certain way? How do I train my animal to do this? Um, and so we're, we're going to be meeting with uh, industry professionals, uh, anybody else that raises livestock, kids that are really good at it and want to um, give a little support to other students. So we'll be bringing those people in to kind of enhance that student's program or student's um, project. And then, you know, hopefully if it goes well, we'll open it up to other students that, you know, aren't raising at the co-op, but they still want maybe a little bit more of that um, learning opportunity as well. Great. Yeah. Thanks. Absolutely. You know, if you have any questions, maybe, you know, ask these kids anything you want. So. so, I and anyone can answer it. I don't care if it's, you know, whether you were showing livestock or um, harvesting, planting, whatever. What was one of the challenges that you met? And what did you learn from that? And now you know that there's something you can maybe do different next year. Um, when harvesting the plots, only the, the head was 35 feet and the eight rows are only cover half that. So it messed up with the monitor a little bit. So the yield that it actually showed probably been a little bit lower than it actually was because it didn't take up the whole head and it messed with the computer and stuff. So probably having the right size plots would help and uh, when we did the plots, we didn't go all the way down the field. We cut it in half just to save time. And that also messed with the monitor. So maybe fixing some of that might help, but. You had a challenge all summer. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> my goats, my one would jump out all the time. So we had to build a lot of different things to put up there to get it to stay in. I think ultimately what we decided on was like a six foot tall garden fence that kept the thing <laughs> Wild child. Do you guys any other questions for us? Or thoughts? I don't think so. No, great job, everybody. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, guys. Glad you All right. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. All right, let's move along. Angela. Yes, ma'am. Business financial functions, please. What you got for us? Okay, I really don't have too much for you. Um, <clears throat> all taxation funds are up. So, um, ISP, <clears throat> I was a little concerned um, when, I don't have my uploads whatever upload isp is um last month we were at 39 percent, and i'm looking at these expenditures to date and we've used two hundred eighteen thousand five hundred dollars. so i was like wow we've used almost half of our isp money but if you look at last month we were 39 percent. so we only increased a little bit so i think the majority of that was used with the startup of school and everybody needing their supplies. And now um, this last month, I put an email out there for Townsend. So you'll see in the board bills, a lot of the credit cards just have so many different things that were purchased. And it was because some of the teachers are starting to order their, their Townsend order um, using their funds that they get from that. Um, otherwise, nutrition funds, uh, 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 the self insurance fund is up, latch key is up. So everything is sitting good. So um, the activity fund report, we've only got one, well, actually two negatives drama and speech, and then the sheep. And we already explained that last month. And drama and speech, um, Joy has been ordering things for the upcoming play for Mrs. Miller. So that is why that is in the negative. Um, otherwise, uh, board bills. And like I said, there's a lot of credit card expenditures. Um, and these guys just, just mentioned national conventions. So there is a lot of that in there. Um, uh, 
a lot of Townsend ordering. Um, and then we just uh, will have you give us approval. We have our geo bond series 2022 interest payment. That, that was the biggie for, for the month. Otherwise, nothing out of the ordinary. Not, not much to say. Sorry. That's a good thing. Yeah. 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 So, all right. If you have any questions about anything, but I, there's really nothing particular I, I need to point out, I guess. I'll make a motion. Second. I would please indicate by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Okay. Angela. Mm -hmm. Now we'll move on to administrative reports. Mr. Meyer, please. I guess really the big thing that I want to highlight, um, you know, we, we talked originally about that the Lighthouse Academic Honor Roll, mm -hmm. and then now you couple that with our ISPP ranking of a high performance school. People outside of Wilton, I mean, we're getting recognition outside of Wilton, and I think that's really a cool aspect. You know, every school wants to believe their school is the greatest school. And I think with things like that, I think you're starting to see that people outside of Wilton know that we've got a good product. And quite honestly, you know, two years in a row for us to be a high performing school, I think there's like 12% of the schools in the state that are in that category. Then the next category up, the exceptional ranking is like 5%. So, I mean, we're, I don't know, so we're getting into rarefied error, but you know, the, Kids are doing well, teachers are doing well, families are doing well. I just think that's a nice three-legged stool that everybody's kind of doing their part, you know, within the system and it, it's it's paying dividends, quite honestly. So questions about anything else that I had in my report? Because that is such a great honor, I feel, for you guys. Is there a way to get that out even to the community? I understand that parents who are involved daily understand it. No. They may not also. You know, is there a way to get that out? Because that is a heck of an honor. I would like agree. be, you know, I, mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to call the paper and be like, hey, come and do a story on us. Right. Sure. That'd be a great way to do that. It's, it's out on Facebook. I posted yeah. that yeah. on Facebook. Yeah. We did our, our live stream last week. We announced it to the building and the kids, and then I had a post go out after that. So we have a new editor on the paper, but I spoke I mean, with so, today, so I think that. I don't know. So if he's, so if he's listening tonight, we, <laughs> <laughs> it's a great honor. Yeah, it should be, everybody should know what this is. So. Yeah. All right, All right, thank you. All right. Well, I won't say too much since you saw kind of what's some of the other things that have been going on um, just in my report. Uh, um, I a little bit about AIW, and I know I don't know if Joe's going to speak at, on it that, but we are um, really trying to look at what we've been doing the past six years, and now just honestly take it to a deeper level of how can we take every unit that we we teach and really think about the why, think about the how, think about how we're going to differentiate, how we're going to make it. Um, how we're going to have substantive conversations with our students. Um, we just, we're really looking at taking the next step um, academically and trying to make sure we're really we're doing what we're saying we're doing and we're getting the results that we want to get. And, and with that said, um, we, uh, Mr. Osier, our new science teacher, is kind of a, a data geek and we love him. And he is helping us um, kind of look at, pick apart some of our numbers to paint a picture to see where we're really at. Right now, we, um, we took our conference data and we listed every student 712 and our students who um, maybe weren't academically being very successful, maybe having a D or F. And then we tracked it with which parents did we see. And um, and we, we found out that there is, uh, you know, a chunk of parents we didn't have those conversations with. And so now that gives us a baseline that, okay, what do we do next? How do we help it? How, how do we have these conversations? But also, um, you know, we want to partner with them. We don't want them to think, oh, I'm just going to come in and hear um, negativity. So we're, our, our building leadership team met on it last night. We're brainstorming and um, just really looking at where we're really at. And then 
We're using, like we keep joking, numbers don't lie, data doesn't lie, and building our plan from, from the numbers we're getting. So, um, and yeah, yeah, we've had a lot of all stairs <laughs> this month. Yes. And lots of areas, yes. lots of recognition for our students, and then um, NHS tonight, which I'll, I'll have in next week's or the next month. So, good month. Um, aside from having a little drama today and Friday, um, it's always busy. But it's been a real fun, I think it's been a real fun start to the school year. Um, just, I don't know, the kids have been great. I feel like the kids have been great. The new staff is great, um, enjoying them a lot too. Um, it seems like, um, seems like our staff is almost like they've worked together for 20 years, like the way that they all kind of get along. So that's, it's been a really nice start to the school year. Any questions for me? Thank you. No, thank you. Look at Mr. Hetzler's report. So, you're going to ask Joe if he's here. Oh, I'm but sorry. If there's anything, you don't have to. I just <laughs> want to give you the chance. Um, as far as PD is concerned, uh, I have kind of pushed the AIW stuff onto the model teachers okay. um, to let them guide the staff. And I have joined my wife with the new teachers on teaching them the AIW process. Um, so it's it's too big of a system to just come into and have like say, well, this is what we do. No, you have to build from ground. So that I think that's been the greatest thing for our new teachers is that we've just set aside that we're going to just talk about this. Unfortunately, late last week, the uh, woman who did all of our coaching and teaching died unexpectedly. So um, our resource there to refer back to is gone. Mm -hmm. So I think it's imperative that we keep moving, but like I said, I want the model teachers to do okay. their part as far as the PD is concerned, as far as AIW is concerned. And then, like I said, I just wanted to help with the new teachers so they could get on board so we can get them on board quicker. We did a quick survey two weeks ago, and when we did the original pilot teams for AIW, I think only 40% of the staff that's still here was doing that. Right. Everybody else is new. Then you throw in COVID, then you throw in all this other stuff and everything just got delayed and jumbled and cut short. Um, so we were kind of in a funk, but I think we're on the track now. <laughs> All right, now we can move on to action items. Yes, ma'am. And resignation, I see. Yes, uh, just down like Austin, you yeah. guys softball. I'm not hiring for that yet, yeah. but we'll get on that. And uh, job description Mr. Hewitt's position with curriculum professional development leader. And that's it. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Set agenda number two. Nothing in here specifically. Anything that was tweaked and recommended to be tweaked got pushed down to consent agenda number three as a first reading. All right. Yep. So I don't know if you have any specific questions on the 606 series, but just basic information. I always laugh a little bit because there's a policy literally on everything. You know, <laughs> but sometimes like with homework, it says it will be age appropriate and whatnot. We'll define, oh, not age appropriate, which is our appropriate amount of homework. Where's that defined? Yeah. yeah. How do you, you know, how oh, well, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Students, <laughs> grandma, yeah. Yeah. who are we talking yeah. about? Yeah. So yeah. But anyway, I chuckle a little bit when I look at some of these. The motion to approve. Okay. Well, please indicate by saying aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right, consent agenda number three is all of our. Correct. First the first readings. three are first readings, yes, and then the rest is. of them are second readings from last month. Okay. And I will pull these up, but you can see in full <laughs> what the recommended um, tweaks are to those first three A, B, and C. Um, first one school ceremonies. Just talk. The, I sit down with Lana Moeller and basically crosswalk what the school board associations uh, handbook is on recommended changes. And just wanted to put this in here. That's a law. You have to have 
which is we've always done it. So it's not like we didn't do it before, but we have the flag in the classroom and we do the Pledge of Allegiance every day in grades one through 12. So anyway, that just matches law. And then the second one, letter B, we were joking because there was another policy about uh, what was the animal? Pig meat? A pig? Uh, like a therapy pig? A therapy pig. pig. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's clear with this addition, this is not about, this is not intended to address this. Yeah. <laughs> for service animals, which we talked about last year with mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Uh, so, and then the last one is just a, Interesting here on the student production materials and services. It's the property of the school if something is created at the school. Let me give you an example. If the students at the ag farm tonight are involved in putting the crop in the ground, taking the crop out, the crop's the schools. Okay. Exactly. If there's anything that's done on behalf of the school, it's still the school property. If a student makes a picture and they want to give it to their mom or their dad, we're not talking that type of okay, <laughs> stuff. We're talking about anything that would happen at the school or if they're working in the greenhouse. You know yeah. how we have the FFA fruit yeah. sales and right. we've got right. kids that sell horticulture. Or mm -hmm. It's the school property. That's all that's basically referring to. <laughs> so that's it under the tweaks. You'll see that again next month. And then C through P are just second reading things I explained in October. And I can answer questions on any of those. <laughs> I'd like to review any of those again. Just a regular motion. Um, there are in the kit by saying I oppose. The motion carries. All right. Individual please said. Yeah, there's just two. Letter A is set in the date time. We have to have a hearing. So we got to set the hearing date and time. For the fiscal year 25 calendar already. So, my recommendation is to do it on Monday, December 13th at 5 30 p.m. here in the Media Center, which is prior to our regular. Make a motion to set the agenda, or what are we setting? Sorry, uh, for the district calendar on Monday, December thirteenth, in the media center at five thirty. Second. Second. Those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Opposed. Motion carries. Letter B is just the agreement with the city of Will and the school district, um, as presented in the hearing. Motion to approve the agreement in the city and the school. Uh, I think we need roll oh, call. Oh, that right, Joy? That's going to be a roll call vote. Yeah. Tim Barrett. Yes. All right. Linda Duncan. Yes. And Tara Wine. Yes. I know. It's not a resolution. There was but no on little these, asterisk really, there. No, you're fine. Okay. All right. Informational items. You can see the hirings. Um, because of our numbers in wrestling, there are over 40 kids. Um, we're adding another assistant there. Um, same with junior high boys wrestling. We've had good numbers as well. So wrestling numbers are outstanding. Uh, got a bus driver hired, Tom Maurer retired. And uh, Robert's taking his route. Isn't that correct, Joy? Tom's route. Okay. And then uh, varsity wrestling cheer coach. I'll tell you what. I had one for a while. We haven't had one for a while and those people, mm -hmm. That amount that they get is nothing for the time that they put in. So God bless them for taking that position. So thank you, Amanda. Mm -hmm. With that, um, maintenance-wise, I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Our bleachers, the motor went out to let the bleachers out and in and the, in the big gym. So Andy's working on that. But as you can imagine, sometimes parts and everything are still tough to get and a new motor. So it's a little bit of a snag there with practices starting up with everything. And luckily we've got gym space. Court space. What's that? It really cuts out on court space. It, it does. does. So I'm just giving you a heads up, Andy's on that, in case you hear something in the community. We have the ability to push them in, but it's very difficult. You know, so again, the good news is between the three gyms we have, very, very fortunate. And the numbers, what well, Mr. Hetzler told me, 
high school boys that have like 20, between 20 and 24 out 9 12 and the girls have 14 out 9 12. so it's not like we've got six teams a varsity team a fresh soft team or, or sophomore you know three teams of girls three teams of boys we're fortunate well we're not fortunate but our numbers and that's reflective everywhere it's not just a wilton thing right um but it's not like we've got numbers kind of in our ears wrestling is our big Right. You know, that's our issue for space Yes. right now. So right, wrong, or indifferent, when I was visiting Mr. Hetzer about this, I know I'm, I'm a fossil now, but when I coached freshman boys basketball in the mid-90s at Mid-Prairie, I had 26 boys out for freshman boys basketball. You know, we had our own team, yes. our own practice, and all wow. that stuff. Yeah. But 26, that's more than we have 9-12 now. And, but that's, that's, that, and that's not just <coughs> here. That's just how that's worked. Yes, it's so, anyway, times change, but I remember those days too. Where, mm -hmm. Wow, we had a lot of kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, those are the two things, or the main thing I wanted to update you on. Um, congratulations to Tim and Tommy and Sam Wilson for their uh, election results last night. So, I appreciate yes. Yes. you doing that, Tim. And I met with Sam a week ago today, and he came in and went over everything to get started. And he'll be here next month, and Linda will be here for one more meeting. A little with while us. for part of a meeting. Yes, this is my total, my complete meeting. Next <laughs> month it'll just be the beginning, and then yeah. you get a, yeah. And then you can just come to the hearings like everybody yeah. else. <laughs> right I'll come and I'll come and I'll, I'll come when the kids come. I want to hear the kids. I want the pray to champions, and I want to know what all the kids are doing. Not that I don't want to know. you guys. Are that's kind of a little more fun. That's right. <laughs> a fun. Yeah. So, just, just real quick, too. Yes. Uh, Wednesday the 15th, oh. we're meeting with the teachers yes. at 8. 8, was it? Yeah. Okay. In here. In, in the meeting center. Yeah. And about a half hour. You know, whatever. Yeah. But I would really like, if you can make it, that'd be awesome. So I'll bring. Uh, get back to me. Get yeah. Get back to me. I will. I will. That's a week from today. Yep. Yeah, yeah. A week from today. Yep. For some reason, I thought since you guys no, were talking we so much, we did. We did talk about, it, but it was just a tiny thing, and it was like it was not a big deal. But I texted him like, yeah. "How's your meeting?" Because I was just yeah. flying around. I'm like, "Hey, yeah. just how your meeting going?" So, oh, it's like 15. Yeah. So anyway, I'd really like to have you guys here. Yeah. I'm kind of like duck, but I think it's okay. You should come. We need you here. You're still a duck. <laughs> I'm still a beaver. Yeah, I should have said I'm kind of a lame You're still the president of beaver until the yeah, next month. Yes, for professional. So let's pray there's no crisis. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard anything back from anybody as far as the school board convention. That's fine. Yes, and it's okay. I know it's busy. It's hard. Yeah. I know. So anyway, just FYI, I just. Yes. So. I rest oh. my case. Is there anything else you need tonight? I mean, any questions? <laughs> what well, do we need? Well, I don't know anything you need to know. What do we need to know? know. No work session in, uh, oh, was, this, this oh, month. I'm still like November because of uh, Thanksgiving. Oh, right. But we can if we need to, which is crazy. Yeah. Two weeks from tomorrow. I know. That's why I don't even feel like I'm in November, let alone Thanksgiving for two weeks. Oh, my little people are requesting Christmas shows already, so oh, we really? skipped Thanksgiving. I'm sorry, poor Thanksgiving. You always gets left out. What was that 96 one? The other morning I hit it, and it was Jingle Bells. No! November 1st. November 1st. November 1st. See, technically, you don't have to vote to adjourn, but you, you do need to adjourn, and then Jamie can shut off the. All right. <laughs> Make a, I'd like an entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll yes. make that motion. I'll second. Thank you. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carries. Thank you, thank you, everyone. All right.